Amusement parks are safe, right? Well, mostly yes, but for the unlucky, well, let me know what your worst nightmare would be in an amusement park. Number five. Oakwood Theme Park, situated in Wales, was home to a new water roller coaster called Hydro. Here in 2004, a teenage rider was killed when she fell from a near vertical portion of the ride and dropped 120 feet. An inquest into her death heard that a safety bar had not been lowered before the ride started. A mechanical engineer later gave evidence of unacceptable safety practices. Number four. Galaxyland Amusement Park of Canada, who is home to a roller coaster called the Mindbender. It was referred to as one of the safest rides in the world by its makers, but it turned out to be anything but. In 1986, the train's wheels malfunctioned and the train left the track at 100 km per hour. Three people were killed, much to the horror of the many spectators. Number three. The Big Dipper, located in England, was home to a horrific accident in 1972. As the coaster train was pulled up the initial hill, the pulley mechanism snapped and the train rolled backwards. The emergency brake system failed and the train picked up speed. Unfortunately, the train smashed into a wall at the bottom and killed five children. Number two. Kentucky Kingdom, USA, was home to a ride called the Superman Tower of Power. It lifted passengers up a tower up to a height of 200 feet before dropping them back down in a freefall. In 2007, a cable snapped at the top of the ride and wrapped around the feet of a teenage girl. When the ride dropped, the cable snapped tight and cut off both of her feet. Number one. The haunted castle of Six Flags Great Adventure, USA, was home to the worst known amusement park accident. In 1984, this haunted house was set on fire by arsonists and a 2000 degree inferno quickly erupted. Most people escaped, but eight teenagers died. They were burned beyond recognition. The amusement park escaped responsibility due to the building being considered a temporary structure. Let me know if you're a fan of amusement parks, and if you liked what you saw then consider subscribing to the channel for more of the same in the future.